Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. In the previous video, we worked on this website section where we created our image slider, as you can see on the screen here. Today, we are going to work on the other section of our website. So we are simply going to have our heading and then three images. When you hover on the image, you can see some text and some button. So we are going to work on this portion of our website. So as you know, this is a continuation of a series of videos I have already made, and I'm gonna put the link in the description. I have already made three videos. The first one was to show you how to design this header with a slider and a navigation bar using Bootstrap 5 and Owl Carousel. The second video was to show you how to, to create this accordion. The third video was to show you how to add this uh, media section. And then now is going to be the fourth image where we are going to work on designing this uh, nice section. So let me come to my HTML file. So we are going to scroll down up to this place. I will add a comment that will say, our article section. So this is the section. So now the first code I'm going to write is going to be a section tag. And in that section tag, I'm going to add class called the section and then another bootstrap class, let's say border T. Inside, I'm going to add a container class, which is a bootstrap class. Then I will add a bootstrap class called row. I can add some uh, other bootstrap classes. I'll say justify send content center. I will add some margin bottom five. Then inside, I will add some column. I'll say call MD8 and uh, another bootstrap class. I will say text center. In this class, I will add my heading. I can add a class called heading and then another bootstrap class that will give some margin bottom like this. And as our title, I will say our blog articles. So that's it. So right here, I'm gonna add another div and the class will be row. So in this class particularly, as you can see, the images are not having any space between them. So to do that, I will add a no gutter bootstrap class. I will simply write G zero. So that, that's going to remove any space, remove the gutter between the elements that will be placed in this particular div. So I can write column MD four like this. And inside I will write my uh, link and I will give it a class of link thumbnail like this. I can simply put an hashtag like this. And in here, I will add my H3 tag. Inside the H3 tag, I will add a span tag. In that span tag, I'm gonna add a class that I will call date. And I will say February 8, 2021. And after the fun tag, I will add some text. So we be lorem ipsum. I can remove some text here and then save. So after the H3 tag, I will add a button. I will simply say span and the class will be FA, FA plus. So FA plus, this is a font awesome icon. Let me remove this like this. In here, I will say FA plus and this is going to add a font awesome icon then i can work on the image so img i'll give it the bootstrap class img fluid so as for the source i will still take the images from my images folder i have the first image here article one and in the attribute alt i'll say image placeholder that's it then i will save like this. If I come back to my web browser, refresh, let me scroll down. So as you can see, we are having image. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it two times, two times. So I'm gonna change image. So I will say article two, and I will say article three for the third image. 
come here and refresh. So as you can see, we are having the images. So now all we have to do is to work on the CSS code. Okay, so let me come to the CSS code. I will write comment. So I will say our article section or our blog section. So the first class we would want to style will be the section class. If you recall in the previous video, we already styled that class. I will show you where we styled it. Here is the section class. So it's only a pattern. 7 em 0 so we will not write it because we already have it in our css code so now i'm going to style the border t class where i will give a border top of one pixel solid f8 f9 fa will be a white color so the next class i will style will be my link thumbnail class so I'll say display block and then position relative overflow hidden text align center and margin bottom 30 pixels. I will add another styling. So I'll say link thumbnail image. So now this is going to be for the image. The position will be relative. I will add the transition transition second 3.3 uh, seconds or is i will do the same thing here and then transition then save so if i come back to the image so this is what will happen okay nothing much so i will work on the thumbnail and then the class date so this is going to work on the date i uh, will say display block and then font size 12 pixels color rgba 255 255 255 0 0.4 and then save so we can say that text transform will be uppercase and the margin bottom will be 10 pixels so if i come and refresh this is how it is looking so the date is no more showing here don't worry we are going to work on that so we can also start working on the font awesome icon so i will say that fa here will still work on the position that will be relative i will say transition i will simply copy like this and i will say top 50 percent font size 28 pixels another color will be white left will be 50 percent then i'm gonna say webkit transform so that will be translate minus 50 percent minus 50 percent paste so here i will say ms transform and then down here i will say transform i can work on the opacity i'll say zero and visibility hidden then margin top be 30 pixels come and refresh so you can see the form the font awesome icon is no more showing because i said that the visibility must be hidden okay but i can add some z index bring it front so after i have done that i can now work on my h3 tag element here too i will say opacity zero visibility hidden position absolute bottom minus 20 pixels left zero and then the color the fff is for white and then the font size i say 16 pixels so i can also add some transition so here i will simply copy and paste and maybe i will change here instead of 3.3 .3 seconds i will say, say 0.5 seconds and then the index say 10 left 50 percent the display block and the width 77 percent and i can simply add some uh, transform that will be translate x minus 50 percent so just copy that paste here remove the web kit you can put uh, ms copy that just put the transform so now if you come to your browser and refresh 
you will not see the text anymore. All right, so next we are going to say link thumbnail before and inside the opacity V0, uh, the visibility hidden. Let us add some transition. So simply copy this. So that's the transition. And then we'll say top zero, left zero, right zero as well. And then bottom will be zero. It's for the content, give it like this. And then we will add some background. So we'll see RGBA zero, 0 0.6. And then the position will be absolute. So this is actually gonna add some overlay background to uh, the images. I need to, let me come and refresh. I actually need to add some Z index to, so this is gonna bring it at the front. So now I will be link thumbnail hover H3. We'll change the opacity. Now it's gonna be one and the visibility will be visible. And then the let's say bottom will be 30 pixels. Now you can see whenever I put my cursor, I can see the images showing. All right. So I can also work on the images. So I'll say link thumbnail hover IMG whenever I hover an image. So WebKit transform will scale 1.1. So the same value will be for MS transform. And that will be the same value for transform as well. Then you come and refresh. So now you can see when I hover on the images, there is a transformation, there is an animation on the images, and there's also some text showing. Okay, so I'm gonna add I want to show my uh, font awesome icon as well. So here I will say opacity one, visibility visible, and margin top zero pixels. So now if I come and I refresh, I need to add the font awesome class here, that FA, and refresh. Let me add another class, so thumbnail hover before opacity one visibility visible you can refresh let me work on the font as some so i'm going to change the position here for the font as some i will give it position of absolute come and refresh. Now you can see that my icon is showing at the middle, at the center of the image, whenever I am hovering on the image. So guys, that's it on how you can design this nice uh, website section with your image, where you can showcase your articles, thumbnails, and I use the Bootstrap 5 to do that and HTML and CSS. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share, to comment, and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. So let's meet in our next video. Bye.